Hey guys, uh, today I just want to do a quick video on how to hook up the weight distribution hitch and the sway control uh, on a camper or a lot of your heavier trailers have this too. Uh, this camper happens to be a uh, 29 foot Jayco uh, J Flight. Uh, we're not a real heavy camper. I think loaded down, we're maybe six, seven thousand pounds, something like that. Uh, we're hooked to a three quarter ton Ford, uh, which, uh, you know, every truck is going to be different with every um, camper. It'd been on the weight and things like that, like the weight distribution hitch. Uh, there are some set points that you're going to have to do when you initially get the trailer or set it up with that truck. Uh, you know, the hitch itself. Uh, you have different mountings as far as what height it needs to be uh, as well as where your hookups are on the trailer itself uh, And like mine, I already know exactly how many links uh, that I need on my weight distribution bar uh, But to find that out uh, your, your camper dealer whoever can they can help you set it up the correct way that way You know you're pulling right. Uh, I don't recommend pulling uh, any heavier trailer without a weight distribution system uh, It takes away a lot of the pull on the truck as well as the sway bar, you know keeps you sitting still um, you know, campers uh, aren't huge, or most of them aren't too awful big compared to some of the big trailers out there, but we want to be safe, especially if you travel a lot of miles. Uh, so, you know, they'll help you set it all up. As far as the truck, uh, there's specific ways as far as how you measure the uh, front fender, uh, how far off the ground you are uh, before and after you hook up the trailer. Uh, like my old truck here, uh, this is Walter, uh, it's three quarter ton Ford. Walter does not squat much whenever I put this trailer on him. Uh, it was built to haul and pull, so it pretty well just sits there. So you know it doesn't uh, move too much that's why i say i've already got all my stuff set up i know exactly how many links that i need um, there's one of these bars on both sides i have the other one already hooked up but like i said i've hooked this one up a lot of times so i already know four or five i need to be on the fifth link there you get a little hook and there is a bar to make this a little easier Uh, which mine, like I said, my truck doesn't squat real bad, so I don't have a lot of weight pushing back against me. Uh, but with that bar, you just push it up, and that locks it in. Uh, chain's tight, so that helps distribute the weight from the hitch, you know, on down further to the trailer. So, and then there are a set of pins to go in there because you don't want that bouncing down. Anything on a trailer always has to be pinned down. That way it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, like I said, I've already hooked up the tongue. I've already hooked up the other side before I hooked any of my weight distribution on there now it's time for my sway bar basically all that is is uh, a braking system an arm with a brake in it um, you slide that out there's actually a set of basically brake pads in there uh, there are different styles that you can use uh, this is the one they set me up with with this camper when i got it it seemed to work pretty well but your hitch itself has a little ball on it on the front and then there's one mounted that they mounted on the trailer itself that goes on there Hitch pins, hitch pins on everything. That keeps that from bouncing off of there. So that sits on there. One goes on the back. There's that. Now, you got a lever on here as far as how, how far you turn it in to give it more or less pressure. Because as that trailer, as you turn, or if you're going down the road and that trailer starts to sway, that brake, those brake pads in there on that arm try to stiffen that and slow that down. That way the truck can uh, compensate for it, which a lot of your trucks, like the Super Duties, um, they actually have an anti-sway control uh, built into the truck whenever it senses the sway. Uh, it'll actually uh, change the torque to match your trailer to get it under control. Um, so it does a lot of things, but as far as that bar, basically you just want to crank that in until it starts getting stiff. You don't want it to be tight. See, like that, it's about too tight. We'll back it off just one. We just want to put enough pressure on it that if that trailer does start to sway a little bit, we put a little bit of uh, strength against it. So basically just so it's sn snug, not super tight by any means, don't crank it down to where you know, you're not going to be able to move because you're not going to have a very nice ride. You're not going to like it. So uh, just make it snug. Your sway controls. Sway bar is hooked up. Now we've got weight distribution uh, hitch hooked up on both sides. Uh, like I said, I already had the other side hooked up. Double check all your pins. Make sure your wheel chocks are out. And there you go. Good for another 100,000 miles. Roll on down the road. Thank you and God bless.